Good afternoon, and welcome back to the Garden of Grace Devotion. My name is Pastor Katie Christie, and I'm one of the pastors at Trinity Lutheran Church in Lilburn, Georgia. A couple of weeks ago in the Garden of Grace Devotion, I showed a piece of artwork created by Annalise Dunn. It was a picture of a woman who had a lot of different things going on in her head. Along with it, I shared a message, a passage from Philippians 4.8, which reads, Whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is commendable, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. The focus on the devotion was on the kinds of thoughts that we allow into our heads. This week, the focus of the garden devotion is more around the things that we allow to come out of our mouths. Along these lines, I'm going to read you a story today. A few years ago, this particular book was the focus at my daughter's elementary school for the year. Each day throughout the school year, the theme of this book was talked about in some fashion. The children were encouraged to think about whether or not they were being bucket, filler, bucket fillers each day. Even though we are no longer in elementary school, the theme of this book translates to people of all ages. And so today, I'm going to share a story with you. It's called, Have You Filled a Bucket Today? by Carol McLeod and illustrated by David Messing. It says, have you filled a bucket today? It says, all day long, everyone in the whole wide world walks around carrying an invisible bucket. We can't see it, but it's there. You have a bucket. Each member of your family has a bucket. Your grandparents, your friends, your neighbors all have buckets. Everyone carrying carries an individual, an individual bucket. Adults, I would suggest that all the people in your lives carry buckets. Your bucket has one purpose only. Its purpose is to hold your good thoughts and your good feelings about yourself. You feel happy and good when your bucket is full. And when you feel sad and you feel sad and lonely when your bucket is empty. Other people feel the same way too. They're happy when their buckets are full and they're sad when their buckets are empty. It's great to have a full bucket and this is how it works. Other people can fill your bucket and you can fill theirs. So you can fill your own bucket too. So how do you fill a bucket? You fill a bucket when you show love to someone, when you say or do something kind, or even when you give someone a smile. That's being a bucket filler. A bucket filler is a loving, caring person who says and does nice things to make others feel special. When you treat others with kindness and respect, you fill their bucket. But you can also dip into a bucket and take out some good feelings. You dip into a bucket when you make fun of someone, when you are say or do mean things, or when you ignore someone. That's bucket dipping. Bullying is bucket dipping. When you hurt others, you dip into their buckets. You will dip into your own bucket too when you do that. Many people who dip into other people's buckets have an empty bucket to begin with. They may think they can fill their own bucket by dipping into someone else's, but that will never work. You never fill your own bucket when you dip into someone else's. But guess what? When you fill someone's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. You feel good when you help others feel good. All day long, we are either filling up or dipping into each other's buckets. By what we say, or what we do. Try to fill a bucket and see what happens. You love your family? Why not tell them that you love them? You love your neighbors or your friends? Why not tell them that you love them? Your caring words will fill their buckets with joy. Watch for smiles to light up their faces. You will feel like smiling too. A smile is a good clue that you have filled a bucket. 
If you practice, you'll become a great bucket filler. Just remember that everyone carries an invisible bucket and think of what you can say or do to fill it. Here are some ideas for you. You could smile and say hi to the bus driver, or I would suggest the cashier or someone at a grocery store. They have buckets. You could invite the new kid at school or the new neighbor in the neighborhood to play with you, or perhaps to exchange some words or have a cup of something outside. You could write a thank you note to your teacher or to someone who's made a difference in your life. You could tell someone in your family that you love spending time with them. There are many ways to fill a bucket. Bucket filling is fun and easy to do and it's free. It doesn't matter how young or old you are. It doesn't cost any money. It doesn't take much time. And remember, when you fill someone else's bucket, you fill your own bucket too. When you're a bucket filler, you make your home, your school, your neighborhood, perhaps even your church, better places for all. Bucket filling makes everyone feel good. So why not decide to be a bucket filler today and every day? Just start each day by asking yourself, I'm going to do something. Just start each day by saying to yourself, I'm going to do something to fill somebody's bucket today. And at the end of the day, ask the question, did I do something to fill a bucket today? Yes, I did. That's the life of a bucket filler. And that's you. That's how the story ends. What an image. Each of us has an imaginary bucket. All day long, we are either filling or emptying our buckets or the buckets of others. When I speak to others, the tone that I use, the content of what I say to contribute to the conversation can have an effect on what's in each of our buckets. This can be particularly true, I think, on social media like Facebook. I don't know if there's another avenue where we can more quickly fill or empty each other's buckets all at once. When I think about this story though through a theological lens, I'm reminded of the, the Holy Spirit and how the Lord fills our cup each and every day. We are offered this image in Psalm 23 verse 5. When the psalmist is talking about God when he writes, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord anoints our heads with oil and our cups overflow. Due to God's blessing in our lives, goodness and love will follow us. How then might we be called with help from the Holy Spirit to share these gifts of goodness and love with others? How might we be called to be mindful of the things that we say and do, to pay attention to whether or not we are being bucket fillers or bucket dippers, being reminded of what Jesus called the two greatest commandments, love of God and love of neighbor. May we seek to be bucket fillers each day with help from the Lord. Amen. I just have one announcement to share with you um, before I close today. We are, Trinity is working with Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church to have a trunk or treat this Saturday. The, um, what is the date this Saturday? I'm trying to think. I can't think of what the date is. However, this Saturday, 
We are having a trunk or treat with Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church. It's from 5.30 to 7 p.m. and we are still really in need of a couple of trunks. It will be a contactless delivery. The children will stay in their cars the entire time. They will ride in the car with their parents and the person standing at the trunk will be wearing gloves and a mask and you will have a contactless delivery system to get the candy to the child. So, if you have any interest at all in decorating a trunk and showing up to that to help, please, or donating candy, just um, let me know. You can email me, my email address is on uh, the website, Pastor Katie, K-A-T-I-E, at tlc-lilburn.org. Peace be with you and blessings on your day. Let's try to be bucket fillers.